Griffin, aka Pancakes, is going to be talking about a pure Python framework for a pure, a pure Python genetic algorithms framework. Hi, so I'm Ashwin. I'm a graduate student from the University of Ottawa. Uh, and I wrote a uh, pure Python evolutionary algorithms framework. First of all, I'm really sorry about the delay. Uh, for some reason, my laptop decided to reboot on me and security activates upon reboot, so... Er. Uh, so, uh, this is what I actually did. Let's uh, try solving the traveling salesman problem with, uh, with my genetic algorithms framework. And uh, I'll explain stuff as it happens. Mono clips, please work. Okay, so we're familiar with the traveling salesman problem, and here's how it works in the context of a genetic algorithm. We start by creating a random population of uh, individual solutions, which at the beginning are really, really suboptimal, uh, and these individual solutions are essentially orderings of the 52 cities in the traveling salesman problem. And over time, we select them, um, and we select the best ones with high probability and the worst ones with lower probability, and we rip apart parts of their structure and mash it together with parts of other good solutions. And we call that a new solution or a child solution. We also mutate them just a little bit uh, by changing the ordering of the 52 cities. And in doing all of this, we make sure that there's still a permutation on the 52 cities, just to be sure, because otherwise it's an illegal solution. All right, so we do that, and we do that several times, and once we have enough number of children, we call that the next generation of that population. And we do this several times for several generations, and ultimately we converge on an optimal solution. So it looks like this one's done, and it is. Okay, so it's done. Let me talk about how my uh, framework actually works. Um, or actually, let me talk about my motivation first. Uh, this was born out of a class assignment. I, was, uh, as I took a genetic algorithms course uh, last year. And our first assignment was implement a genetic algorithm. And I tr because I love Python, I looked around for uh, Python frameworks to do so. And I saw a couple, including uh, PyEvolve and uh, PyStep and other such frameworks. And they were great, except they were great only on the problems that they were meant to solve. They weren't really extensible, and some of them weren't really well documented. So for me to extend that and implement my own solution using that framework was really, really hard. Said there had to be a better way. Um, and not only did I want to make my solution work, I also wanted to make this better for everybody else. So if somebody else wanted to write a genetic algorithm really quickly, I wanted to make sure that they had a way of doing so, and so I wanted to write a really extensible framework of doing that, and hence my framework was born. And this is actually really what my framework is all about. It has nine files, ga.py right in the middle has the strategy for evolution. So if you want to evolve differently, you want to select individuals differently, or you want to mutate them at different times, or you want to cross them over at different times, all of that is handled right there. Um, crossover, if you want to cross, the crossover functions for the traveling salesman problem is, are specific to the traveling salesman problem and permutation problems for that matter. But what if you want to try to solve a problem that is not a permutation problem? What if you want to solve a possibly a one-max problem, which is completely different? You would need a different crossover function. So you go in there and you define your own crossover function. If you want to define a different mutation, you go there and do that too. And you can do all of these different things in each of these different modules without really affecting what happens in everything else, as long as you write your function signature and your return values to be um, compliant with the, rest of the, with the rest of the framework. So let me show you what settings.py does. It's essentially a config file, but it's a little bit more than that. It's a file that contains functions. And these functions return configurations. They return dictionaries, which are configurations for the GA algorithm to parse out. And the reason that this happens is because the genetic algorithm requires a ton of uh, uh, parameters, and passing them in positionally is a pain. So when you pass these in as a dictionary, you also have the added advantage of doing something like, oh, look, here's my crossover function, and that takes me to crossover.py. 
Now, one thing to notice in, uh, in genetic algorithms is that a simple off by one error could uh, take you way out of the solution space. So I implemented something called PyContracts, which basically throws an error if your function programming is wrong, if you have buggy code. This makes debugging the evolution a lot easier because sometimes you don't know if it was bad luck and evolution just took a wrong turn and that's why you're not getting the answer that you want, or if it's because you wrote a bug, an accidental bug in your code. By the way, all of this is up on GitHub. Uh, right here. Oh, well, can't find that right now. But it's up on GitHub, so if you'd like to fork it, please do. If you'd like to implement it, please do. Thank you. <laughs>